the three steps for the transformation for yes. the cities for climate disease. Yes, for the three Number one, you need a master plan. Yes. Like a master plan at regional scale planning to identify where is a critical security pattern, you know, where the nature should be kept, where we should give a space for water. So it's a regional master plan. I call it ecological security planning, right? And second, you need to focus on urban scale to train where you can train, where is opportunity, you know, where to change it immediately. Yeah, so it's like uh, I can immediately see that source area can easily become uh, water resilient space, mm -hmm. right? And thirdly, certainly, uh, I think uh, you need to transform the policy, right? the policy and the financial tools. Uh, the policy level, uh, which means if you are uh, as a committee yes. or whatever, you need to change the code, code, code system. Yes. Change the section of road even. Mm -hmm. uh, change of you know uh, instead of drain away water, maybe you should drain into the city, into the park, and retain the water. So this regional planning, policy, and financial policy change, and certainly do something immediately to demonstrate, to allow people to see it and to get confidence. Yes, and then embrace the water, of course. Yeah, embrace water. <laughs> yes. uh, so retain water, slow down water, embrace water. Yes, yes, yes. And, and the second question is about the integration with social issues. In Brazil, we have significant housing adequacy, over 24 million uh, inadequate homes. How can the Sponge City principles be integrated with social housing and informal settlements? Yes, I, I think uh, social uh, housing shortage uh, can be a very easy problem to solve because it is a commercial finance, it, it is about a big market, market system. Yes. Certainly you, because it have different system in China, for example in China we, we need uh, only 10 years, 20 years we, we offer supply, mm -hmm. we offer build. So, Housing can be easily built, but you need to change the policy to some degree. Uh, a public, uh, I mean, the, the, the government uh, subsidize, mm -hmm. right? And the slums, uh, the shanty house, this, this, uh, uh, you have the problem of uh, shanty towns, right? You have all the problem we call the uh, informal settlement. Yes. And those areas, when you look at those areas, those area usually built in wrong place, yes. in the swamp, mm -hmm. in the yes. uh, low value area, mm -hmm. or in the in the basin, you know, floodable area, mm -hmm. and that also uh, cause a problem of pollution, lack of uh, infrastructure, like what I saw in Rio, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. Actually, those places can become very beautiful places if you can transform, build the ecological. Mm -hmm a healthy sponge park, you can immediately increase the property value. By this surplus, the value, you can reinvest mm -hmm. in the building of housing. Uh -huh. And that's why you can combine ecological enhancement with uh, housing, uh, uh, with house. Uh, that's why that I'm thinking uh, it can be a business model, it can be a government uh, financial policy, and certainly it is uh, use water uh, management, ecological uh, regeneration as a tool to increase the property value, to increase uh, uh, double uh, residency.